Hey guys, this is Martin again from Bug Bounty Service. Today I will show you another type of vulnerability. This time we are talking about account takeover. So what means account takeover? Account takeover is, as the name suggests, that you can log in to someone else's account, may that be another user, may that be an administrator. It's a very critical vulnerability, so today we will take a look at that. Okay, so first of all, um, I'm a normal user. Uh, in this scenario, so what I want to do, what I'm going to try is, I'm trying to get a normal user account first and foremost, right? So I'm going to register here and I call myself Tom and unique invite code, I use test because before that we had another one and just trying to see if this works. And it does, okay? So there's a test invite code which works nicely it gives us username and password so i'm going to log in as tom with that password right so nothing too spectacular normally you register at a website or something like this and then once you're in there um something you can always do which i highly recommend is viewing the, the page source to see if there is any hidden gems or any anything hidden which should not be visible so there's a lot of HTML code in there and, and stuff like that and some JavaScript. And I'm just skimming through to, just to see if there is anything which stands out, anything of interest. And down here, I get to a, to a function, to various functions actually. And one which calls, uh, which catches my eye immediately is like an edit password. So there's something called edit password and it's an Ajax request and it's, it's a post method. And edit password, edit password. I presume it's an API or something like this. So um, previously, based on our previous experience, there's like the, the, the folder called Drapi, uh, D-R-A-P-I. So why not check this out? You know, like um, there may be an edit password or something like this. So I just punch this in and see if we get anything from it, right? And nothing happens. But then again, you know, like we effectively um have earlier said that um this is um this is a post request right like so um, a post request is obviously um something very different so to a, to a get request and then effectively um if i refresh this again here so this is a get request i'm sending a get request but i'm supposed to send a post request right so i'm sending this get request over to repeater and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the uh, method right so change request method from get to post so that's very simple in burp to do it like this and then we send it and nothing comes back okay so maybe it's missing something maybe it's missing like a username or something so what i want to show you now is basically if you want to find out what are the usernames or so doing some user enumeration effectively, you can, for example, come here to the registration and then you say Tom test. So in, previously as I registered with the same credentials, right? With Tom and with the code test. If I do this now, it says like the inv invite code is not valid. Ah, that might indicate that it's already taken. So that username is taken, right? So check Martin test. Um, that worked. Okay, so the Martin was not a user which has been taken yet. What about DR admin and test? All right. So I got a very distinct error message which says like, this is the administrator account and you're not allowed to have, to have access to it. Okay, fantastic. This is what I wanted to know. The application should never give me the, these kind of, of verbose error messages, right? But now I can come back to my um, request here and I can put in username, right? Username, um, I presume they're calling that parameter username and then I call it Martin and then I hit send and now I have updated the password for Martin, right? So I can check this now. I copy this and effectively I come in here and I go to login and I type in Martin, put the password in and I have access. This is fantastic, right? Let's open another container here in another color and let's copy the URL. Now let's see if we can try to do the same thing with the administrator account, right? So I call this DR admin. The app, the app already told me DR admin is the admin, right? So I hit send here and it also worked for the admin account. So I can now copy this, come over here, go to the login of the doctor and enter DR 
admin and put the password in and here we go now i have full access to the administrative portal account so this is something which is called account takeover i hope you enjoyed it and i look forward to see you in the next video thank you